Hello. Hello iOS fans. It's the Agents of Sigmar. And in this video, we're going to tell you why Underworld is so great. There's a reason why we want to tell you why we think Underworld is so great. It's not just because we think it's really great. Underworld, believe it or not, is seven years old. Wow. It's almost seven years since we did our first video, Garrix versus Severin Stillheart in the Underworld, in Shadespire. Yeah, and we wanted to put together a little list of all the things that we think is great about the game. And I think most of these things that we're going to list off were as applicable when the game first came out as they are right now. A lot of these things we is why we immediately gel with the game and have ended up making content for it for such a long time. And you're probably watching this because you already do think Underworld is great and you just want to come here and have your bias confirmed. But maybe you're watching this because you don't know what Underworld is all about. So we wanted to also do this to try and convince you that you want to join this fantastic community. And if you do have any questions about that, then do put them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. So Robin, what is your first thing that you think of about Underworld that makes it great? It's small gaming area. You've got none of your six by fours or even your three by threes with Underworld. You basically both got two small cardboard boards that you put down together to play your game. Yeah, little area for your cards and stuff and some tokens and you're good to go. I love the fact that it's on hexes. You've got boards and they've got hexes on, which means there's no ruler, there's no measuring, there's no checking. Can you get round there? Are you within half an inch after your charge roll? Because of the small area and the hexes, there's not really any terrain. And because there's not really any terrain, there's not really any line of sight. There are a couple of smidgen line of sight rolls, but they're really easy to find and you don't need to break your neck trying to get down at eye level with the miniatures to play. And there's no arguing over whether something's got a silhouette, whether they've got a sword standing up on the air or that kind of thing. No terrain, no line of sight. And with no terrain, there's no painting needed on the train, and there's no painting on the models either if you don't want. Each of the warbands comes in a beautiful different colour plastic. Yep, and the whole game revolves around just playing the game rather than painting the models. If you want to paint them as well, you can, and some people out there are absolutely fantastic with the paint jobs they've done, but it's not a necessity to play. One of the things I love about Underworld, which I think stands out from the other GW games, is that it's got this tactile nature with the cards. Oh, yeah. I like that. And it's not that you don't ever have to remember like loads of different special rules for your models, because you are actually going to evolve the rules for your models as you go along, but they're all by cards, and they're always in front of you. And it's a nice tactile experience. And whilst you're using those cards in the decks that you've built, you don't actually have to build any lists. There's no working out how many clam rats you need to buy, or if you have that warp cannon, how many of your storm vermin you're going to have to get rid of, or anything like that. There's no maths involved. You buy a warband, that's the warband you use. Yep, no points, no drama. And no WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG is the bane of my life, especially when you buy a new game. Now, for those of you who don't know what WYSIWYG is, it's what you see is what you get, and normally that sometimes that's to do with Windows-driven systems, but it's also to do with models in games. In a WYSIWYG game, it'd be like, well, that guy has got a LAS cannon, so he can't possibly be using a bolter. Yeah, and, and this one over here, he's got a double-headed axe, so there's no way he's got a knife. And they have their attacks that are on the cards, and you don't have to worry about building the wrong model, and then being having an argument about what something is, or remembering what something is, and so it's all there on the cards, and you don't need to worry about what the model actually really looks like. Talking about the models, you're only going to have to stick together nine at the very most to get your entire warband ready to go. They're nice push fit models, so you can probably assemble them without glue, but you're probably going to want glue at some point in the process. Absolutely, and while Pete says there's nine, only one of all the 60 warbands or whatever it is has nine models. Yeah. So most of them have, I would say, probably an average around five. Four to five, yeah. yeah, something about that. And you can have them stuck together in an hour and you can be playing nice and quick. And because of that small model size, it's really easy just to pick up two or three different warbands and each one is a different painting, modeling, playing experience that enables you to mess around, change factions week on week, uh, which is a really nice thing about the game. Most EW games, you kind of have to commit to either like one or maybe a push two factions and that's what you're going to play with for the next two or three years of your life. Underworld, you can change, chop and change almost as much as you like. And with all that chopping and changing, there's another benefit in that the games are nice and quick. So you could play one game with one warband, quickly pack that away and play another game with a different warband, get a complete different experience. And again, you can get in probably 45 minutes once you get it down. So you can get quite a few games in in an evening and a lot of different experiences. And that's absolutely what we do on our club night. We have people I'll bring two or three different warbands and we'll play you know, each of those of an evening, which is lovely. Because of the small model count and because of the way GW now are running the game, it's a comparatively cheap GW hobby to get into. Yeah, I mean, a lot of board games that you look at and you go, this is a lot cheaper than Underworlds, but Underworlds in comparison is 
far cheaper than nearly anything else GW produce. And this all adds up to a game that is fantastic for anybody who is incredibly time starved. Anybody with children, anybody with a busy job, very demanding life. This gives you a chance to do a little bit of hobby, a little bit of escapism from the real world, and you can actually do it fairly effectively, whereas a lot of games, you really need to dedicate a lot of time to be able to play them. Probably the biggest thing that mustn't be underestimated at all is how fantastic the community is. We run tournaments, we've been to tournaments, and everybody is lovely. There's yep. almost never any bickering, and people will be, be helpful when you're playing, they'll allow you to take stuff back if you make do it wrong, they'll give yep. you, even give you advice halfway through the game. We're on all the forums and things on Facebook and what have you, and there's almost never any snark there either. Like all the other hobby guilds, there's always somebody being pedantic or whatever, or just being annoying generally. I've yeah. almost never seen that in Underworlds. It's seven years of Underworlds. Yeah, normally online is where you're really going to start seeing the bad side of a community, and it's not really there at all for Underworlds. And finally, the game has got some wonderful content creators. Beautiful, sexy, good-looking, yeah. witty men. Hilarious, lovely, lovely people. You should go check their videos out. Yeah, Path to Glory, they're really good. Yeah. Um, but no, there's loads of great content creators and us. So there are our reasons why we think Underworld is one of the greatest games that GW have ever produced. I absolutely 100% do think it is the best. So what do you think? Why do you love Underworlds? Do comment below. And don't forget to click that like button. And don't forget to click subscribe. And if you really want to, make sure you set that bell so that you get notifications every time we release a new video, maybe all about Underworlds. And if you want more lovely content from us, do consider supporting us on Patreon. There's a link in the description below. Yeah, we talk about Underworlds, but we talk about loads of other games, both GW and others as well, and we talk about life and all that stuff too. All sorts of rubbish. So we'll see you soon, maybe in the Underworlds. Bye!